with WBRC in Memphis, we learned it was a locked door that kept a gunman from getting inside a school to potentially open fire. A locked door is a simple thing, but we found out when your children head back to Birmingham City Schools, there are some new measures for security this year. Welcome to Avondale. How can we help you? Uh, we'd like to come in, please. You are looking at the newest security measure for Birmingham City Schools. They call it a security bubble. Like most schools, someone in the office has to buzz you in. And but before this bubble enclosure... Access, because theoretically, you come in here without this, you can go to that elevator, you can go to the third floor, you can go to any classroom you want. Avondale Elementary Principal David Seal says his staff is happy it's here. Unfortunately, we, we see these tragedies unfold far too often. Um, and I remember after uh, Uvalde, uh, which, uh, which was so just right in front of us, um, staff coming to me and saying, who do I need to talk to? We need an extra level of security here. And we feel like that the bubble provides that. That ensures that individuals don't have access to the building. And so we've retrofitted a lot of our older buildings with what we call security bubbles. You Superintendent Dr. Building, Mark Sullivan sitting down with me to talk security. We have um, upgraded our, our um, weapons detections. So we're looking at um, if you've been to Disney World, if you've been to the, uh, the, um, the basketball game, here in Birmingham, you see that many people are able to walk into those stand-up metal detectors. Well, that allows us to start school and not have big lines of students waiting. It's a hard lesson to learn. Five years ago, Huffman High student Cortland Arrington was shot to death when a student brought a gun to school. Sullivan says the newest thing coming to middle and high schools this year so private security companies are working in the schools? We actually got that from Huntsville. In the past, we've relied on teachers to come in in the mornings and they would help check book bags and help the kids walk through metal detectors. For our high schools and for our middle schools, we have contracted that service out so that our teachers can do what they're hired to do, wow. teach, and we have individuals who can provide that service for us and they provide that service all day. Back to Avondale, where the principal says there are at least 40 cameras inside and out. Those cameras are at all Birmingham City Schools, and that big, beautiful broadcast bus the district uses for ball games is equipped to hook up to the camera system. So if there was an active shooter, police would have access to see what's going on. Well, the district say in the new weapons scanning security will be installed this semester. Dr. Sullivan says the greatest security measure is a good relationship with their students who will tell them when something's going on before a tragedy. The